Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm, damn it, I was about to say I'm back and ask if you missed me, but my text message ruined the moment. My text message telling me that the remainder of my Vera Bradley home to Hogwarts collection has arrived. Um, yeah, the last of my, the last of my packages arrived. Are you crooked? You kind of look crooked to me. Is that like slightly better? It's a hot mess over here. My cat is digging into the packages. I don't actually have a great space for showing big items like this, but I wanted to try and do this anyway and give you guys a full look and review at the Vera Bradley Harry Potter home to Hogwarts collection. I did get quite a few pieces from the collection and stop it. Can you stop that? Hey, stop it. Troublemaker. Okay, you guys, Kelsey from Blondes and Bagels here, back on YouTube with more like handbag-esque type reviews. I don't know. These are probably some of my favorite to film. I know it's some of your favorite to watch. A lot of you guys found me by my Kuyana videos and things like that. So when I saw that Vera Bradley, when I saw that Vera Bradley released a Harry Potter collaboration, it's called the Home to Hogwarts Collection. I got really excited. I would say that I'm a fan, not a fanatic. I've read all the books. I have some special edition type stuff. I'm a Ravenclaw. Uh, yeah, I love the series. It meant a lot to me as a kid. I still enjoy it. I love the movies, all of it, right? I do like my Harry Potter paraphernalia a little more on the subtle side, as you will see today. But I wanted to give you guys a look at this new collection. It is a little pricey. Show you some of the stuff I got. We'll unbox some of it together because I just got the last of it here. I'll tell you some things I've noticed. Some of these items I've actually been using over the past several days, so I can give you a little mini review. Let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna try and drag this up <laughs> the best I can first and foremost. Actually, let's start with the shopping experience in general. It was garbage, I'm just gonna be honest. I, I do like Vera Bradley. I was a dancer back in like high school, middle school days, and I really associate Vera Bradley with my dance days. Like all of the girls had Vera Bradley totes and duffel bags, and so I do like Vera. I have steered a little bit more towards more classic monochromatic pieces, solid pieces as I've gotten older just because it fits a little bit better with my style nowadays. But the shopping experience usually is really great. It was absolute trash for this collection. I just don't think they were anticipating all of us swarming the site at the same time. So it did crash. Because the site was crashing so much, I was unable to get things into my cart and I was really freaked out that things would sell out. So I just said, you know what, if I can only get one item, I would literally add an item to my cart and then it would disappear out of my cart. So I, I was like, if I can only get one item, I'm just gonna get a Ravenclaw item. I guess that's what I care about the most and that's what I'm gonna do. So that's how I ended up picking up the campus backpack in the Ravenclaw print. It's not a print, it's a solid. That's how I ended up with this. I don't know why I got a backpack, I'm just gonna be honest. In fact, I actually got two because what happened was is when the site came back up, I said, fine, I'm just gonna order the rest of the stuff I want. Um, so I've got a couple different orders here basically and things are split up into multiple packages and shipped separately and all of that mess. So anyway, I do have two of the campus backpacks. I have the Ravenclaw, which I've not taken the tags off of. I'm still kind of thinking about it. And the reason I'm still kind of thinking about it is because I also got the, you can see I've packed my stuff in it. This I did cut the tags off of. This is the Hogwarts backpack. Um, so just in like black corduroy with patches. I've got all my stuff in this one right now, so it's kind of heavy, but I ended up picking up this one just because it's plain black, it looks really nice, very, it's very kind of like if you didn't know it was Harry Potter, I mean, you kind of know, but it's not as like offensive and, and obvious, and I like the black corduroy, it actually is very high quality, got quilting on it. I will obviously have some close-up shots of some of this stuff so you guys can see more up close, but I did pack this one full. I've even got my little beaker on the side right there. I'm not a big backpack gal. I don't I don't go to school, I go to work. I don't really take a backpack to work, but you know, it's kind of nice for travel. It's got a trolley, like a little trolley sleeve on the back here. I could see myself using it for road trips and travel, things like that. Um, it's got a whole host of pockets. It does have a wand pocket, all of this 
crap. <laughs> Has a wand pocket. Um, I don't have a wand. I'm a fan, not a fanatic, like I said, so I don't have a wand to show you guys, but um, yeah, this one came and it just was like a really nice classic black backpack, so I went ahead and cut the tags off that. I'm definitely still thinking about this guy, and I think where my heart is at is when I saw the collection, I think I was like, Many a customer out there, I was a little disappointed. Um, I just feel like they had almost no house exclusive stuff. This was pretty much it for, for anybody other than Gryffindor. If you're a Slytherin, a Ravenclaw, or a Hufflepuff, it was probably pretty disappointing for you. You really only had like a backpack option and a lunchbox. I don't need a lunchbox. I mean, I do take lunch to work, but I don't really need a lunchbox. And yeah, that was it. Like I kind of would have, I would have maybe wanted a tote or a cosmetic bag maybe some smaller pieces in house specific colors and signia and it just it didn't happen they just did like plain hogwarts stuff they did show preferential treatment towards gryffindor who got their own tote bag and their own duffel bag i would have gotten all that stuff in ravenclaw specifically had it been an option it wasn't so i'm struggling because one i barely wear backpacks to start so i don't even really need the backpack that i cut the tags off of uh two i don't really need two backpacks because i barely need the one so i don't really need this but at the same time, like my heart, man, I just don't have a lot of Ravenclaw stuff. And I do identify with the house um, pretty strongly. Like I'm, I just, I, I love, I love the house I'm in. I don't know what to say. So I'm kind of struggling with this one. We don't have like a family planning thing on the horizon anytime soon, but I could see how these would make great like diaper bags, loads of storage on the inside. I was a little bit disappointed with the print for Ravenclaw just because it's a little bit tough to see. Um, it's a little tough to see with the blue on black, but uh, the, the print for the black Hogwarts one, the print for the black Hogwarts one is great. I mean, I'll show you guys a close-up of the inside. It's it's a great little print. So the other item I did pick up though that is more Ravenclaw specific is just this little zip like ID thing. Um, I typically, I don't know if I'll be taking the bus after coronavirus, but before coronavirus, I took the bus. So I could put my bus pass in this and always be able to find that. But that's like it for the Ravenclaw specific stuff. They just didn't have specific house stuff, uh, which was just kind of a bummer. Um, probably the only complaint I really had. And then the other I also got, I got a lot of stuff, you guys. Please don't at me. I'm trying to consider if I'm keeping everything. There are some items that are very clearly being kept for me, like this guy, which was the cosmetic case. This is, I think, the only item I got in the actual Home to Hogwarts print, other than the blanket. I think that's correct, other than the blanket. I love their cosmetic cases. I'm a big fan. I've done so many blog posts on Vera Bradley cosmetic cases because they make the best makeup bags and toiletry bags I've ever used, just hands down. Nobody can compete with it. Everything is lined in like this plasticky material. I've got like sunscreen and stuff here because we went on a picnic, but it's lined in like a really wipeable material, great pockets, all that stuff. So I thought I'd love to get it in this print. What sucks is I got the shittiest of shitty pattern placement. I really did. This is the front of the bag. Uh, I didn't get a single good thing on the front of this bag. I didn't get like any chocolate frog or I got a remember all and some brooms. That's it. But it sucks because I can tell where like the crest was cut off in this pattern versus on the back. I actually have like the Hogwarts crest. I have Hedwig and the glasses. Like I have a lot more stuff on the back. So it's the only tricky thing with some of this stuff pattern placement can be a little bit, a little dicey is what I would say. And I mean, it's just, it's kind of a loud pattern. I didn't really, I, I this sold out, this makeup bag sold out. Almost everything in this actual pattern sold out. So you can tell that like the Vera fans mean it. They love, love a good print. <laughs> so I get that. But like the toe in this sold out, the blanket, the cosmetic bag, the hanging organizer, the duffel, like the, the backpack, all of it. This, this print was very popular for Vera fans. Um, it's a little much for me. I think I prefer it in the smaller pieces, which is why it's like the only thing I got in this. But their cosmetic cases are great, so highly recommend. What else? I'll show you the blanket real quick. I can't really show it to you. Uh, I shared a little snippet on Instagram with it. That's about it, but it's a little tricky to show you. Super soft. Again, I would say like the Vera Bradley blankets are next to the cosmetic bags. Probably my favorite thing to buy from them. We have 
four or five of their blankets now at this point. Big fan of their, their blankets. I sleep with them at night, I travel with them. They make travel blankets that like fold up really, really nice. Big fan, kind of expensive, sold out. I hope they bring it back because it's cute. Okay, the next item I got, I don't even know how to show this to you guys. Um, I'm hoping I can find a screenshot of this. I have a Vera Bradley duffel, in a print actually. Um, it's called Camo Cat. It was like a blue, black kind of print. If I was gonna do any print, that's like the only one I was really into. But I have a duffel that I use for every road trip, like when we go visit my family, anything like that. Anything that's not a plane. I don't know why I don't do duffels on a plane. It's just kind of a lot to carry. But if you're throwing it in the back of a, of a car, it's no big deal. So I love using that duffel for travel. And I mean, I kind of just couldn't resist. I mean, this is amazing. I don't know how much you can see of that, but this is the Hogwarts duffel. And then I was one of the lucky ones that managed to snag the little Hogwarts acceptance letter bag charm. Kind of a dumb thing to add to cart, but like dumb in a cute way. I don't regret it. <laughs> I think it's really cute on this bag. It's just adorable and it's actually functional. You can open it up, but the duffel is just, it's like such a high quality material. It actually feels higher quality than the quilted like fabric one, like the cotton one that I have. There's something about the corduroy that does feel a little bit more luxe to me. And the straps are just super thick. I love again that it's just black. And if I was traveling with this, I just, I don't think you'd really know it was Harry Potter unless you really were looking at it. You'd just think, wow, what a nice classic black duffel bag. And it's got that great print on the inside that I showed you earlier. Loads of pockets. It's a little bit hard to show you guys from this angle. I'm so sorry. I just, we have a small space. But yeah, I really liked that one. The Again, the bummer, the only bummer I would say is like Gryffindor was the only house that got a house specific duffel. Why? <laughs> Why, Vera? Why you gotta hate on Ravenclaw like that? Super annoying, cause I would have, I don't know, I feel like that's the piece, like those are the types of pieces I would have wanted in a house specific insignia. Like I just, I wanted it and it didn't happen for me. Um, so those, that's the initial bunch. Literally, I sat down and the doorbell rang and I just got a, my last of the last. So we will unbox this guy together. This should be the tote. Two items were in this package. Um, one of which was the crossbody. Another thing that they gave preferential treatment to Gryffindor for. Something I would have preferred to have gotten in Ravenclaw because in my mind, it would have been really nice to essentially have this little, it's a crossbody slash wallet where basically like you can stick your phone and your cards and which is kind of nice if you're like out for a walk and you want to have like your cards with you but don't want to take a whole purse. We go on a lot of walks now. It's like our quarantine hobby is walking. So this is just kind of a nice, it's like a wallet but also with room for your phone. Um, and that's something that typically I would have and toss into a bigger bag. Like if I was traveling or if I was at work, um, if I'm gonna go grab lunch with coworkers or something, it's kind of nice just to grab and go. Um, but yeah, they didn't have it in Ravenclaw. So again, I just went with the black Hogwarts. My cat is digging through the bags. I'm sorry if you can hear that. That seems awfully short. That can't be right. How do I fix this? Oh, you guys, I really intended for this to be a lot more professional than it is. Um, you'll see it. I have a blog post that's coming out that'll have all of this stuff modeled really nicely. So you'll see a photo there. Sorry, I don't have it right now. Or sorry, I don't have this all fixed up right now. But yeah, this is another one where I, I do intend to keep this. I just really, again, wish it had been in Ravenclaw. I just think... They could have done me a solid. Why didn't they? They did it for Gryffindor. Why not Ravenclaw? Why you gotta hate on the rest of us? Okay, the last item, you guys. Last item is a tote. I am a tote kind of a girl. I love a good tote. If you are subscribed to my channel, if you follow the blog, almost every handbag review is a tote. They're just really functional. I go to an, I usually go to an office every day. I haven't been to our office in, well, I actually haven't been to the new office for my new job ever. I started a new job in quarantine. So weird times, you guys, but I love totes for travel. I love totes for work. And again, I this is one of the ones that had they done it in a house specific, they did it in Gryffindor. I, I would not have bought this in Ravenclaw, I don't think. Um, just because it's kind of a big piece, you know, kind of a big situation. And again, if you're just wanting to be more subtle and like show your fandom in a really subtle, more elevated way, I think stuff like this is perfect. It's just just a little, it's just a little 
flash of magic versus being like super overt, you know? All right, all in all, I'm sweating under these box lights. I forgot what it's like to be here reviewing in a full sweater. I wore my robes for you guys. It's not a real robe, it's actually just a sweater. But I just wanted to take you guys through this collection, kind of like give you the skinny on it. A lot of it is sold out in the actual home to Hogwarts print. I kind of think that's fine. I would snag the black Hogwarts stuff while you can if you are a fan, but just maybe like a more subtle fan. Um, I do think the pricing is, it's on the high side. I don't know what to say. Like the backpacks are super pricey, totes super pricey. It's just pricey, it's expensive. But if it is in your budget and you are looking for a new bag that you think you would take traveling or, you know, to work, whatever it may be, and you're in the market. I think the quality is aces. I think the designs for the most part, pretty cute. Let me know if you wanna see a review on any of these like very specifically in their own video. I'm happy to do that. Got nothing else to do during quarantine. Um, so hit me up, tell me in the comments below, find me on Instagram and uh, yeah, tell me what your house is in the comments down below. Let's chat, catch you in the next one. Bye guys.